Howdy. I think I need to clear something up regarding Will's potency as a scorer um, in the playoffs. For this reason, I'm going to uh, compare his playoff scoring for the years he led uh, the league in scoring during the regular season to MJ's playoff scoring from ages uh, 23 to 29, which was uh, which were uh, Will's ages uh, when he was the league leading scorer. Now, uh, Will averaged uh, 32.8. Uh, points per game on 50.5 percent uh, field goals in those uh, 52 playoff games and his team missed the playoffs uh, when he averaged uh, 44.8 uh, points per game during the regular, regular season uh, because the team uh, fell apart due to move uh, to San Francisco uh, now uh, will team won 38.8% of their games that season and they didn't make the playoffs while MJ's team uh, made the playoffs by winning 36.6% uh, of uh, regular season games in 1985-1986 uh, which was the year MJ averaged uh, 43.7 points per game in those three uh, playoff games I mean <sighs> It would have been nice for Will to get a chance to boost uh, his playoff stats that way in 1963 too, right? Now, um, MJ averaged uh, 34.6 points per game on 50.2% uh, field goals from ages 23 to uh, 29. And we all know he didn't uh, have his equivalent of Will's uh, Bill Russell in him in uh, 57.7% of those those uh, playoff games which Wilt had. I mean Wilt faced his best defender at the time in 57.7% of his playoff games and uh, no one's going to tell me that this isn't significant very significant so in uh, my opinion Wilt and MJ were uh, pretty equal as scorers in the playoffs before will sacrifice his scoring after seven years of unprecedented scoring dominance.